Tesla is replacing battery packs in the Cybertruck, entire packs. So many owners have had to go back to Tesla and have their entire battery pack replaced. Now there is a reason for this and it's kind of interesting. Here's what Tesla is doing and why they are having to replace the entire battery pack. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Welcome to all the new subscribers, guys. Great to have you too. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I'd really appreciate your support. That'd be amazing. I'll put a link in the description below to our YouTube member page. Sandy Munro actually tore apart a Tesla Cybertruck. And one thing that really surprised him was the way that Tesla glued together the Cybertruck battery. The Cybertruck battery pack is obviously a structural battery pack, and that's become the norm in the industry now, especially in China. Structural battery packs are much, much safer. Tesla put a bunch of like purple pinky kind of gluey goop stuff in the battery to kind of glue the cells all together. And that goop works as kind of like a heat sink. It helps to ensure the battery pack will have no issues when it's really, really hot or when there's you know any kind of incident. For example, if the Cybertruck is involved in a crash, the Cybertruck batteries work in this way incredibly well. So it's kind of like a thermal resistance, almost like thermal management. And there's been some enormous Cybertruck crashes, just crazy crashes where the Cybertruck just hit, smashed into trees at high speed, broken into pieces all over the road and not set itself on fire, which is remarkable. We've, I don't think we've ever seen these kind of crashes where a car hasn't caught fire. So that worked, right? This pink goop, people are not re remembering that actually that's the purpose of it. It actually really does work. This is a really safe vehicle for that purpose, for that reason. Get stuck in the vehicle and you get T-boned, something like that. You're probably not gonna be extremely unlikely that battery pack is gonna catch fire. So it's a positive in that way, but it's a bit of a negative in another way. Owners have reported that within about a three month period of purchasing the car, purchasing the Cybertruck, vehicles within that three month period of sales have been recalled by Tesla. So Tesla, uh, they haven't done an official recall yet, and maybe they don't need to, oh, I'm not sure, no one actually knows here. If someone's telling you that they should be doing an official recall, they don't know what they're talking about, because we don't know, We don't. the truth is we don't know how many have been recalled. But apparently the reason they're recalling them is because some of the batteries can get dense or have dents in the side of them. And Tesla didn't pick this up when they were manufactured. So Tesla has to recall the, and basically replace the entire battery pack. Why do they have to replace the entire battery pack? Well, because I believe, we don't know this for certain, but I believe it's quite difficult to actually remove cells from the battery pack because of that pink goop, which is really, um, it, really difficult to kind of remove from a battery pack. So Tesla, instead of trying to replace those damaged cells, is actually just replacing the entire battery. Does that mean Tesla can't use that battery pack or won't use it for something else? I highly doubt it, guys. I really think that Tesla would be using these battery packs for something, possibly repairing them. They may have a way to actually open them up, get rid of that pink goop, maybe some sort of heat, some sort of temperature added to it. I'm not sure, maybe cold. I'm, I'm really not sure, but I don't think they're gonna just throw the battery packs out. They're just worth too much money to do that. Remember, it's a 123 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's a big pack. And I don't believe from the reports I've heard that the entire battery, all the batteries are damaged. I think it's just some of the batteries on the side have dents in them. So that's what's been happening with some of these Cybertruck battery recalls. That's the reason for it. And whilst we're hearing a lot of stories about Tesla having uh, difficulties selling the Cybertruck, it is by far the best selling electric pickup truck in America at the moment by a wide margin. And I personally don't think it was a failure. I mean, I would love to see it. I still hope that Tesla will make them for Australia. I think it would sell really well in Australia. Uh, I know that there's at least 25 to 30,000 pre-orders for the Cybertruck here in Australia. So Tesla, make them in right-hand drive, send them to Australia. I know there's a lot of people here in Australia that want one. I've spoken to quite a number of people personally that want one. And let's see how well they sell here in Australia. Now, is it true? that the range is not as not as high as some of the rivals. Like for, for example, the Chevy Silverado does have more range, more than 400 miles of range, but it's got a much bigger battery pack. So the battery pack in the Silverado is about 200 kilowatt hours. The battery pack in, this, in the Cybertruck is 123 kilowatt hours. It's an enormous difference, 77 kilowatt hour bigger battery pack. And yes, that's gonna give you a lot more range in the Silverado. I mean, a lot more, probably about in the real world around 100 miles more range. But considering the fact that it's so much bigger, I think Tesla has made an efficient vehicle. Like I said, guys, 
I'm still all in. If Tesla bring them here to Australia, I'll go get a I'll go get a loan. I'll buy one. I've never done that before with a car, but I would do that with the Cybertruck. I'm still a big fan. Now, of course, if Tesla was to send the Cybertruck to Australia and they had to recall the battery pack for this reason, it would be you know it would be difficult for Tesla to deal with this. So it's better for them to deal with these problems early on than after they've started shipping them around the world. Are Tesla planning on shipping these around the world? They have said that they are planning an international version of the Cybertruck. Will that happen? I don't know, guys. I mean, I hope they do. It's still available on, Te on the Tesla Australia website as being one of the products on the site. There's only three vehicles, the Model 3, the Model Y, and the Cybertruck. So I suspect that they may be attempting to, but it really depends on regulations, and maybe that's a problem. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think in the comments. This is the most entertainment I've had in a very long time. A Tesla Cybertruck driver, he actually rented this Cybertruck. He has seen someone stealing stuff off his porch. Now, there is footage proving this did happen. In fact, there's footage from his, his uh, camera on his, his actual step of his porch showing these vigilantes pick up the package, run off, jump into their Genesis vehicle, and try to do a runner. Now, he's seen them, and this is what's happened. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. I'm a big fan of the Cybertruck. I drove it when I was in California. I loved it. I, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people hate the Cybertruck, but I personally think they're awesome. And when you see the actual rear tub, you know, the rear tray, the rear bed, it's such a practical vehicle. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people think that's not, but I really think that it is. And full self-driving in the Cybertruck now is, it works. I tested it for an hour and it, it was amazing. It drove better than I possibly could. Anyhow, what happened here was this owner has, he's driving home. He's driving behind a Tesla Model Y. It looks like a neighborhood where there's a lot of people who have electric cars, a lot of Teslas around. He's obviously rented this bright green Tesla Cybertruck wrapped in bright green. And well, yeah, he has seen these people running off his porch with his package, clearly, they have run into their Genesis vehicle. Now, I should point out these guys are apparently known criminals. They've, the police have been chasing them down. They've done this many times. It's like their full-time job. They've got nothing better to do. And so the police, once these people were apprehended, well, they were actually, actually able to put some of them behind bars, which is good to hear. Anyhow, he's seen the car. He's tried to actually stop this Genesis vehicle, right, from getting away. He's kind of nudged them to the right and the Genesis driver has smashed into a tree and then the Cybertruck driver, as you can see from the damage to the Cybertruck, has basically smashed in the front of his vehicle, which it does look like, I mean, it's still drivable, the vehicle, but it looks like it could be totaled potentially.